On October 2nd, 50 freshmen at Cedar Shoals became some of the first students in CCSD history to get their own personal school laptops. They were each given an HP notebook with its own carrying case and charger. I believe that when students have their own device every day, that it will be much easier for teachers to do all kinds of different things. And I think over time, teachers are going to identify a couple tools, several tools that they really love using with their students. The students have an option to pay a $25 technology fee that will cover damages. Um, the $25 technology fee just protects uh, students against any kind of accidental theft or loss or, or damage. Um, if a student breaks a screen, it's $75 to replace. However, if you uh, have your technology fee on file, it's covered. The laptops will have many personal uses and benefits for the students. To be more in touch with what I'm learning um, because it's not just someone talking about something over and over. It's something I can actually look at and then I can be able to understand it better. Um, I think it'll be a lot better because it digitizes everything. You can work on something at school then work on it at home where if you just did it at school you might not have like you not, might not have a computer at home but now you do and you can work on it at school and home. It'll make it a lot quicker to get things done. Teachers and students should expect to see changes in instruction. Out the one to one, you know, it's more teacher centered because they're the ones that have to present, they're the ones who have to bring the things to the students. Mm -hmm. But when the students have their devices, they can go out and get that, they can create, they don't have to, um, the teacher doesn't have to do all of that. I think it's going to be much better because instead of using those awful netbooks that take, how long do they take to log in? Like 10 minutes sometimes for them to log in. They can just have them all plugged up. I don't have to plug them up at the end of the day. That's going to be huge because, as you see, a lot of kids forget to plug their netbooks up. And it's just going to make it easier because they can work on this presentation at home. So when I say it's due at Wednesday, they can't complain because they have a computer to do it. So class time is going to be much more effective so they can do more homework at, outside of the classroom. Students are expected to be able to keep the laptops for all four years of high school keep the laptops for the whole school year and they are going to turn them in right before testing uh, so we can get them ready to install the test in that and then we'll keep them for the summer, clean them, uh, re-image them, get them ready, they'll be ready to go for them for the new school year and they'll have a, practically a brand new device. Having a personal laptop is expected to have many benefits for the student. It, it will benefit the students uh, greatly because uh, they will use their new computers or the laptops. They will use those uh, uh, laptops as an instructional piece. I mean, this is a part of, of, their, of the educational process. These PLDs will allow students to complete assignments more easily in the classroom and finish homework at home. The laptops require Wi-Fi to access the internet, so if a student doesn't have Wi-Fi at home, they'll be able to bring their laptop to Chick-fil-A, Jittery Joe's, and other places with free Wi-Fi to study or do homework with their friends. The funding for these laptops came from the Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax, or SPLOST. SPLOST is an additional 1% sales tax voted by county-wide referendum that allows the public to contribute in order to provide funding for building parks, schools, roads, and other public facilities. This is a big step for technology in the way students learn in Clark County.